Our planet was in the last ice age, with much of the world's water locked up in glaciers. The human population was much smaller, still living in the Stone Age, made up of different species of hominids such as Neanderthals and early modern humans. The world was also home to now extinct large mammals such as mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and giant sloths. Human cultures were developing and becoming more complex, with the use of fire and tools becoming more widespread. This was when a single small green dot passed over the sky, with a cloudy tail following it, visible for only mere weeks before vanishing out of view. 50,000 years later, on the 2nd of March 2022, scientists at the Palomar Observatory in California are surveying the skies, and they notice something peculiar. Initially, they marked this finding as a simple asteroid, but a closer look showed something interesting. There is a small green trail behind this object. This was a comet, and it is now known as C oblique 2022 E3 bracket ZTF, the very same comet that paid us a visit way back in prehistoric times. A close analysis of its trajectory has determined that it's very likely to have originated from the Oort cloud, a region of the solar system thought to contain many icy small objects that are the remnants of the early solar system. Its orbit is gigantic, stretching all the way through the solar system and beyond the near-observable Oort cloud, and is almost 60 times smaller than the Hale-Bopp comet. Nicolas Biver, an astrophysicist at the Paris Observatory, has said that while small, the comet is expected to make an extremely close approach to Earth allowing plenty of opportunity for keen-eyed astronomers and stargazers alike to spot this ultra-rare event. It's expected to pass by as close as 42 million kilometers. While that seems like an unfathomably large distance, on an astronomical scale, that's considered very close. In terms of distance within the solar system, it is roughly equal to the average distance between the Sun and the planet Mars. We could also get a nice surprise and the object could be twice as bright as expected, he added. Retired astrophotographer Dan Bartlett has been capturing stunning images of the comet from his cabin in Yosemite National Park, California. To him, gazing at the sky is a humbling experience that he encourages others to partake in. Dan keeps two powerful telescopes on his porch in June Lake and takes advantage of the clear nights and dark skies to snap awe-inspiring photos. The smoother airflow near bodies of water, such as lakes or oceans, reduces twinkling of the stars, thereby allowing for more detail in his shots. The James Webb Space Telescope is closely observing the comet, though not to take pictures, but to perform scientific studies that will allow us to take a glimpse into its composition and origin. Thomas Prince, a physicist from the Californian Institute of Technology and researcher at the Zwicky Transient Facility, describes the comet as a rare visitor that will provide insight into our solar system beyond the outermost planets. As the sun heats the outer layers of the comet, its proximity to Earth makes its composition easier to measure. So how can you see this celestial body? For those in the northern hemisphere without a telescope, the comet will appear as a faint green smudge in the sky while those with a scope can witness its dramatic tail. Observers in the Northern Hemisphere can see its bright green glow best in the morning sky as it moves northwest, while those in the Southern Hemisphere will be able to spot it in February. You can spot it with a naked eye if conditions allow it. It's best viewed far from light sources and will serve as a great highlight to a relaxing late-night picnic. Keep an eye out in the northeastern part of the sky and you should see it as a faint green object. There are many stargazing apps that allow you to track its position in the sky in real time, as well as to view a prediction of its trajectory. The comet still offers a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to connect with an icy visitor from the outer solar system. With a 50,000-year orbit around the Sun, this is a chance not to be missed. It's simply breathtaking that we can observe something with our own eyes that last paid a visit to us when mankind was just beginning to develop. And now, 50 millennia later, we can see its return and marvel at the progress and changes that humanity has made over this unimaginably long period. What about the future of this comet? Observations have determined that it's said to go past the Oort cloud, where there are two outcomes. Either it escapes our solar system completely never to return again, or it takes a long orbit that will have it returning to Earth.
but this time not in 50,000 years, but in many millions of years. And we leave you with an interesting thought about this. What will be the state of mankind the next time this comet swoops around to revisit us?